This tutorial is designed to be a uh, beginner's guide to Adobe Illustrator. It is not meant to be an exhaustive guide. Uh, rather, it's going to show you what we're going to do in our first project. And in doing that first project, you will see some of the basics of Illustrator, giving you a video so that you can pause and rewind as many times as you need to. So the pace will go kind of quick, but please view this at your own pace. All right, so what we're doing here, we're looking at the, uh, the basic Adobe Illustrator um, interface. Like every other application, you hit Control N or File New to bring up uh, your document box. We'll go over what all of this means um, right now because um, you can actually uh, click some drop downs if you're making something for print, something uh, for web and different things. You can go ahead and make a, a selection based off of uh, what your output is going to be and uh, where you would like to publish this. For now, we're going to take all the default settings as long as we're at 8 by 11. The reason why we're at 8 by 11 is because we may print a few of these things out, and that's the size of a piece of paper. So for now, you can name this whatever you like. I'm just going to call mine Test and click OK. If you wanted to hit some templates and do some business cards or, or anything like that, you certainly could. But again, this is our first lesson. We're keeping it very, very simple. We're just going to click OK so that we have an 8 by 11 page. All right, so that is our first step. So what we're going to do is learn a little bit about the pen tool and some of the windows here. So if you go up to window, and it's like this in Photoshop as well, um, if you look at everything here, anything that has a check mark by it, that is what is open right now. So if you don't see something that you need on your desktop, go to window and see if it's checked. So uh, let's say your tools disappeared. You look like that. You say, hey, where the heck did my tools go? We'll go up to window, make sure that tools is checked. And if you notice, they come back here on the left. So all you're going to be using for this is the arrow tool, which is right here, your selection tool. It moves things around, um, which you'll see in just a moment. You're going to be tracing something with uh, the pen tool, and you're going to be filling with colors. All right. And once we start this, we'll tell you what the difference between fill and stroke are. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is learn how to trace a concert poster. So you're going to go online, grab whatever type of concert poster you would like to trace, and you're going to save it. So let's go do that. So I've gone to Google and I've clicked images here and I put Black Crow's concert poster. You can just put in concert poster and see what comes up. But the key to this is getting things, uh, getting a poster that has large, colorful shapes, nothing too detailed. The more it looks like a picture, the harder it is going to be for you to trace. So you don't want anything too detailed, uh, things like this that have a shadow around the face, um, large blocky areas like this. In fact, this is the one that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to click this one. And I'm in Google, so I will click View Image, right-click, Save Picture As, right? And you notice it's a JPEG, which is a picture form. Me, I'm going to save mine to my desktop. You would save yours under your student ID, and then you would click Save. All right? That is step number one. Then we're going to bring that into Illustrator as a template. So I'm back in Illustrator. I'm going to click File, Place, not Open, but Place. And I'm going to make sure this template box is checked. Without this, this will not work. All right, so make sure that the template box is, box is checked, and then just go find the picture that you saved and click Place. All right, it's going to come in like that, and you notice it's faded. It's in the background. If I hit this black arrow, I can't select it. I can't move it around because it's just there as a template so that you can simply trace what's there. So whatever's in black, I'm about to trace. If you want to get closer, there's a magnifying glass right here at the bottom. If you click it, it goes in. If you hold down Alt, you'll notice the magnifying glass just changed to a minus sign. So it zooms out. Let go. It turns to a plus sign. Hit Alt. turns to a minus sign. So I'm going to get pretty close so I can trace this. And I'm going to go get the pen tool. All right. When I start drawing, let me just do this so you can see what happens. When I start drawing, it's going to fill with whatever the fill color is. And it's going to outline whatever the stroke color is. So stroke is the outside. Fill is the inside. All right. Now, if I don't want a stroke in there, I can click this where it says None. And it gives me no stroke. There's just a fill in there now. Or if I want to change the color, I can double click. I can pick any color that I want and click OK. Now, if the shape that you're drawing is not selected, obviously it doesn't know what to color. So if you're like that, it's not going to do anything. You need to actually click the selection tool, select something, and then you can manipulate it. All right? You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. You can go to the edge and you can rotate it. All right. So Illustrator is all about just drawing shapes and putting shapes on top of each other and filling them with colors. Easy enough, let's move on. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy by clicking delete. I'm gonna get my pen tool. Now I'm just gonna start clicking around the toe area and I'm gonna click and drag, all right? If you notice, 
this is going to start filling with color and eventually I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing because the inside is going to be filled with red. So to get rid of that, if you brought this in as a template, you can go up to view and you can change the outline view. If you notice, it just shows the outlines of what I'm drawing. When you want to see the output of what you've done, you go back to preview and it shows you the color. All right. So uh, view outline is just the outlines. That's kind of what you want to draw in. So this is the hardest part about Illustrator, learning how this stinking pen tool works. But you need to know how it works for uh, Photoshop when you make selections. Um, in Illustrator, you can actually trace these, and it's much easier. And then ungroup objects and manipulate them. But since we really, really need to know the pen tool, we're going to start with a pen tool project. All right, and we are going to go over in class what these handles mean so you can get these exact. But for now, since it's our first lesson, we're just going to briefly trace something. And what I'm doing, I'm clicking, I'm dragging in the direction that I want to go, and then I'm letting go. A lot of students don't let go. They just keep dragging it, and it goes crazy. So let's say you go over here, and you go, ooh, you know what? That was wrong. I just hit Control-Z, which is undo, and then I can keep right on going. All right, so I'm going to go down here, and this is the great thing about templates. Nobody knows what this gal's dress is really supposed to look like, so as long as it's close, it works. All right, so you don't have to be exact with it. All right, so my goal here is to draw the silhouette, and I want to end up right where I began, all right, because that makes a shape. We don't want any open shapes. You want a completely closed shape. All right, I'm almost there. Down to the heel. Again, as long as it's close, it's going to be fine. All right, so I close it up just like that. Actually, I'm going to control Z twice because that was weird. I messed up on the toe. All right, whoop, my bad. Click the last uh, last point that I did, which is right there, and continue on. Man, I just can't seem to get that toe. There we go. All right, so let's see what happened. I'm going to go up to uh, View and click Preview. Make it where you can see it. That's what I just drew. So if I grab this arrow and pull it away, most of our picture is already done. Look at that. So if I wanted it to look like her, I would click it, and I would go choose black. You can pick any color you want. All right, but for mine, it's black. And I say, you know what? That looks pretty darn good. So then I would go up to View, Outline, and I would do the next section. All right, so let's say we're doing her face. If you notice, her face has black and white. So I'm not going to do all of it. I'm going to do enough so you can see what the heck I'm talking about. All the way around here. We're not going to do the crazy hair. We'll just stop right about there for this demonstration. Okay, we'll go to, actually, let's go ahead and draw the eyes as well, so you can see the difference. All right, so the eyes, instead of filling with black, because black on black, you're not going to be able to see it, I'm going to fill it with white, and I'm going to go to preview, that's what I've got so far, so notice, I'm pull it halfway off so you can see, the white is on top of black, if I click black and I right click, I can go to Arrange, Bring to Front, and now the black is on front. If I click something, right-click, go to Arrange, Send to Back, now the black is in the back. So all you're doing is drawing shapes. That's an eye. I'll draw another eye here. I'll draw the mouth. This bird has an eye. There's a pearl necklace. So all you're doing in this exercise is drawing a bunch of shapes, coloring them, and then you right-click and arrange them and just drop them on top of each other to create a picture. So the last thing that you may or may not run into uh, that could be helpful, um, some of the pictures that people pick have uh, no color on the inside or a light color with a very dark uh, side to it. So if you draw around, I'm um, sorry, a dark stroke to it. So if you draw around, let's just say this was, I don't know what that is, a face or something. I'm going to pick black. All right. So if you start drawing a lot of these, Right? It looks cartoony where you have a black outline and a skin color or a white colored uh, inside. If you go, you know what, this is too thick around the outside. don't really like how thick it is. Well, if you look at the top of your screen, there's something called stroke. And we remember that that's what this is right here. Stroke is another word for outline. The higher the number on this stroke, the thicker that line is going to be. So sometimes, especially when you're drawing faces and stuff that look realistic, you want uh, very thin uh, lines mixed with very thick lines to show depth and perspective. This is the way to do that. So if you say, you know what, it's just too thick, you can pick the thickness of the stroke. Or you can come up here, if it's something in between, like 1.15, you can actually type it and hit enter. All right? So drawing shapes 
uh, filling them with color, manipulating the stroke, and then just dropping them on top of each other. Right click, arrange, bring to front, send to back. That's all that we're doing here. So after the demo in class, you're going to be watching this video. After you watch the video, try, try to do it yourself. If you have any questions, please let me know. Can't wait to see your brilliance.